I guess you could technically call this a fruit salad because there's fruit in it. Whatever your definition of salad is, is a completely different question altogether. Regardless of the fact, this is a recipe. This is in the cookbook. This is Grandma's cookbook. We're making fruit salad from Miss. I can't really make out that name. I would call it Sahum. Sahurin. Sahisun. To start with, we're going to have to make the lemon pudding for the salad, which, following the directions on the package, say one packet of pudding mixture and two cups of milk. Stir that together for a little bit and let it sit aside while we move on to the next step. Next, the recipe calls for a half pint of whipping cream, and I thought I'd get fancy this time and actually whip my own cream, which just involves me whipping whipping cream. It's very tough. In the time it takes to whip the whipping cream, the pudding should have set long enough to turn into pudding. This step, we're going to go ahead and add the one can of crushed pineapple, and then mix it all together. Next, the recipe calls for cherries. It doesn't say how many or what kind, but I figured if I'm going to make it quote-unquote authentic, I'll use maraschino cherries and then walnut meats. Again, no amount. I just went with about a half cup's worth. Mix it all together. The next fruit we're going to mix into this salad is one half pound of cottage cheese. Once that's very well incorporated, we're going to gently fold in our whipping cream, and there you have it. Fruit salad. And how's it taste? Not bad. Walnuts are probably a bit too strong in this salad or this fruit salad. Um, I guess because it's got cherries in it and it's technically a lemon pudding, I guess it's a fruit salad. It's weird. But there's a recipe as best as I could interpret it. Go ahead and make it for yourself. That's going to do it for this week's Grandma's Cookbook. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next week with another recipe from this book.